royal commentator Danielle Alzer has shared her thoughts on how the future monarchy will play out and Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis are expected to have a major impact. The Cambridge's children are the only people who can keep the royal family afloat, a royal expert has claimed. Danielle Elsa made the remark following Prince George's recent appearance at Wimbledon, which saw him attend the men's final on one of the hottest days of the year so far. While most children his age were playing at a pool or in the garden, the eight-year-old had to watch the championships while dressed in a suit in the sweltering heat. Elsa highlighted that royal training had already begun for Prince George and his sister Princess Charlotte, whom she believes will ultimately be the future of the slimmed-down monarchy. She wrote for News AU. One clear consequence of Grandpa Charles' obsession with a slim-down royal family is that the only people left to help keep the monarchy afloat two decades from now will be his Cambridge grandchildren. The problem is, when the Prince of Wales floated his vision for a lean monarchy in 2012 during the Queen's Golden Jubilee, he was very clearly factoring in his other son, Prince Harry and whatever wife he would ultimately finagle to join the royal ranks. The royal family would have two adored sons, two glamorous duchesses and a host of cute kids who could be wheeled out for photo ops. The expert compared William's experience as a young royal to his sons and said that the now father had more people to lean on at the time. But with a slim-down monarchy, things will be shaped differently for the Cambridge kids. George will not have the same extended workforce of HRHs to turn to help him shoulder the burden, all he will have will be his siblings, Elsa added. The expert highlighted that Charlotte was pressed into service when she attended her first walkabout to St. Mary Magdalene Church at Sandringham in 2019. She added, in June, when William, Kate and George went to Cardiff for the day, Charlotte was there too, having to shake hands and stand around while her parents made small talk. Nearly 11 years into their marriage, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have undertaken numerous overseas royal tours together. This most recent tour, to Belize, Jamaica, and the Bahamas, was, by far, their most complex. Amidst Kate's glittery fashion choices and the couple's light-hearted events, sailing, scuba diving, and walkabouts, to name a few, calls for change ran deep, there were protests over colonialism in Belize and Jamaica. In Jamaica, a movement to remove the Queen as head of state is gaining traction. Barbados did the same just last year, Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness, while visiting with the Duke and Duchess, left little doubt as to his country's intentions, we're moving on, he said. While in Jamaica, Prince William, while stopping short of an outright apology, said in a speech slavery was abhorrent. And it never should have happened. And, on their final night in the tour's last stop, the Bahamas, William directly addressed the changing monarchy by saying, in a speech at a black tie reception, we support with pride and respect your decisions about your future, he said. Relationships evolve. Friendship endures. Meanwhile, the heir to the throne, Prince Charles, and his wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, are on a much less intense tour of Ireland at the moment. Both couples are on tour on behalf of the Queen celebrating her platinum jubilee and 70 years on the throne this year. Why did she send William and Kate to the Caribbean to address these important, pertinent issues, and not her heir? Because of the ages of all the participants, there must be a feeling that, long term, the future of the British monarchy is more about William and Kate, spiritually, not in terms of actual succession, Gristwood, author of Elizabeth, Queen and Crown, told People. The baton of the crown has to pass to Charles and Camilla, but there is a sense of a baton also being passed from the Queen to William and Kate. Charles and Camilla have a lot of life experience between them, and they're not going to change. The future belongs with the Cambridges.